What's up y'all, Mike here, and welcome to part four of building the All-American Closet. I am on a mission to build a wardrobe that is 100% made in the USA, and today we are talking about shoes. As you can see, I have a lot of shoes that are made in the USA, but there could be some gaps. So shoot me a note in the comments below, email me, DM me on Instagram or Twitter, do whatever you need to do to get in contact with me and tell me which made in the USA shoe brands that I should purchase next and I will buy them and give you a shout out in the next video. I also want y'all to shout out your favorite shoe brands that are made in the USA on social media or whenever you purchase some, make sure to give them a shout out and tag us and we will retweet them, repost them, do whatever we can to give them as much visibility as possible and help them continue to grow. So let's dive into my shoe collection and tell y'all a little bit about each of the brands that I have. We're just gonna go right to left here and start with the Red Wing Heritage Boots. So I showed you all these in a recent video on Boots Made in the USA, but I absolutely love these. They've been in my closet for several years. This is the Red Wing Heritage Series Boots. Now, unfortunately, not all Red Wing boots are still made in the USA, but this Heritage Series is, and these are, will definitely last you a really long time. They're made with really high quality full grain leather and honestly they take a little while to break in but they're going to be in my closet for decades i also own a couple other boot brands starting with oak street boot makers so these guys this is their field boot right here they are a great brand every single thing in their store is made in the usa they have a couple of materials that they import but the large majority of them are sourced domestically i absolutely love these for really just kind of wearing around town they're great casual wear but you can also dress them up with a suit which i'm actually going to a wedding this weekend and going to be wearing these with a gray suit they pair really well like i said to dress up or dress down I also have this pair of boots from Truman Boot Company, which literally just came in a couple of weeks ago. I'm super excited to wear them a lot more and break them in, but this company is based in the Pacific Northwest and they have a ton of awesome handmade boots. Everything is made by their artisans from start to finish at their factory in Oregon. I've actually been pleasantly surprised with how easy these are to break in. Granted, it's only been a week or two, but I think they are incredibly comfortable and I'm really excited about how they break in over time and just judging by the durability and the craftsmanship that they put into each pair of boots, they are gonna be in my closet for years and decades to come. I'm planning a full video on Truman Boot Company that's gonna be launching in a few weeks, so if you want more of a deep dive on this great brand, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you aren't already. Next up is Som Footwear. These guys are based in Montrose, Colorado and are my go-to for sneakers. You can see I have a low top and a mid to high top version of their sneakers. I really love the kind of minimalist feel to them and the flat footed structure of these shoes. So if you're into that, definitely check out Som. I actually toured their factory and met with their team out in Colorado a little while back. I have a full tour video on our YouTube channel. So if you haven't checked that out, make sure to do so. But these guys are a great option. I wear these almost every day and they are, they hold up really, really well and are just a great option for sneakers. All right, next up, let's go with Rancourt and Company. So these sneakers this is their Bennett Court sneaker. They're based in Lewiston, Maine. I really love these. They are incredibly comfortable for just everyday casual wear. Now they have a few materials that are imported the suede unfortunately comes from Italy but a lot of their other materials around the sneaker are domestically sourced and of course they assemble everything here as well if you're in the market for a little bit of a higher-end sneaker or some more formal wear shoes Rancourt and company is a really good option all right, let's round out with a couple of pairs of sandals. I have two made in the USA brands that I really love and have in my closet. The first is Los Angeles Apparel. These slides are incredibly comfortable. They are really affordable too and come in a lot of different color options. So I just wear these around the house, at the beach, at the pool, wherever. If you like a pair of slides, definitely check out Los Angeles Apparel. 
And the last pair of Made in the USA sandals that I have in my closet are from Earthrunner sandals. So if you're looking for a good alternative to something like a Teva that has a little bit more padding on the bottom as well as that strap over top to keep your foot secure, Earthrunner sandals are a great option. They have a few different thicknesses in terms of the sole here, but these are really, really comfortable and I love just walking around in them in some of the warmer months. And then the last pair of Made in the USA shoes that I own is not on this table, I'm actually wearing them, is Soft Star Shoes. So I have a full breakdown of Soft Star Shoes on the channel. We'll link that video in the description below. These guys are a super minimalist sneaker. I'm not even sure you call it a sneaker, sort of, but I use them a lot for working out, weightlifting. Again, minimalist and uh, very flat foot structure. Um, so if you really just want something that is incredibly breathable uh, with not a ton going on and you really like that barefoot feel, Soft Star Shoes is another good option in addition to SOM and some of the other minimalist footwear that I've talked about on the channel and on allamerican.org. Alrighty y'all, that's it for the Made in the USA shoes in my closet. What pairs should I pick up next? Do I have any gaps in terms of styles or brands that y'all want to see? Let me know, shoot me an email, comment below, DM me on any social media platforms, and I will make sure to pick up a pair of whichever ones that you mention and give you a shout out in the next video. Remember to shout out your favorite brands on social, tag us, and we'll retweet, repost, and do whatever we can to give them as much visibility as possible. And as always, thanks for supporting your country and shopping American-made. See y'all next time.